Irving Goffman wrote about regions and region behavior in order to contextualize performances. Generally speaking, the front region is where the performance is given. This is your stage, so to speak. Any and all decorum is strictly adhered to. Then there is the backstage region, in which front region behavior is contradicted. Here someone's front can be dropped. So let's think of this in terms of a physical space, like a suburban split-level house. When guests come into the house, they are generally kept in the front regions. The living room, den, and more often now the kitchen can be considered the front region, where the hosts give their performances and guests give their performances. Then there are the regions in which these performances may be completely contradicted. Two of the hosts may go to the pantry, which is a complete mess compared to the kitchen, and complain about the guests. Guests will ask where the bathrooms are, and on their way down the hallway they might see a lot of closed doors to bedrooms, which are also off-limits as backstage areas. Could regions and region behavior be applied to how we manage our lives on the internet? Let's look at Chris's story. So uh, I have two blogs that I use. Uh, one is the one that's more publicly available. It has my name on it. Um, so you know, my friends, my family, uh, every, people I know know about it, and they can see what it is I put on it. So like if I put pictures of other friends and family, if I put uh, news articles, if I put just cool websites that I've seen. The second blog, however, I use to kind of um, for an outlet that so that other people don't know about it necessarily. I use it as a secret identity. I use a handle on there, um, a screen name that um, doesn't necessarily connect me, um, connect the blog to me directly. Uh, and, and there I can post things that um, might not be so kosher with other people. If we try to look at Chris's blogs like different regions of a house, his front region blog is like the living room area. Chris can use this space to present himself in a certain way to visitors through the content that he reblogs. Chris might only post things that represent how he wants friends and family to see him. Chris's other blog, however, is a backstage blog because it contradicts the family-friendly one. Chris may not want his family and friends to know that he writes fan fiction, for example. This blog can also be NSFW, or not safe for work, meaning that Chris can post what others might consider completely inappropriate content without any consequences. Chris might further contradict his performance in the front stage by using his backstage blog to vent about people he knows, meaning that Chris would definitely not want anyone that knows him outside of the blogosphere to see the backstage blog. You could argue that both blogs represent Chris's front stage. Chris is just performing a role for two different audiences, friends and family, and internet friends. This could be filed under Goffman's concept of audience segregation within an idealized performance, in which one performance must be protected from another. Chris's blogs are tailored to two different performances he gives to two different audiences that remain separated. If a family member stumbled onto the blog meant for internet friends, the segregation technique would fall apart and Chris's performances would be disrupted. Not to mention Thanksgiving might be a little awkward. <laughs>